morning everyone welcome back to another apples and tiaras vlog so today is going to be classroom setup day eight and i think today will most likely be the last classroom setup video um, after today we will probably transition into prepping for the first few weeks of school and what goes on during all of that process i'm going to try to document it i always say i'm going to and then i don't but I really want to show you guys what I'm making um, and what like thoughts go into all of the preparations for um, the first couple weeks of school. So if you are ready for the last classroom setup video for the school year, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Um, let me know if you guys are liking these. I can tell you are because they're doing really well. So thank you guys. Um, so today is Tuesday, the 18th of July, and I have quite a load with me. I have some plants. I'm going to take um, some of my house plants that were in my house in Queen Creek that were kind of like just shoved in the corner at my mom's place. Um, I'm taking them to school because A, her kitchen is full of plants, and B, plants are great. So of course I'm gonna take some to school. Hopefully they do okay. They're probably gonna be in shock for a bit, um, but there's lots of good sun coming through my windows and light, so we should be okay. Uh, what else? Oh, I have a ton of um, notebooks in the back that I picked up from Walmart a couple of days ago. Unfortunately, my composition notebooks did not get put on my like supply list for families to grab. So instead of like begging them to buy them after the school year starts, I just went out and bought them because they're like 50 cents each. Ended up costing me like, I don't know, 45, 50 bucks um, to buy 90 notebooks. They were pretty cheap. So I ended up just buying them myself. And then, um, you know, I can later down the road, if we need other supplies, I can ask for that. But I just felt like most families go out like I did I as soon as I got the list I went out and bought it um, and you know it would be kind of inconvenient to have to like go back and get like one more thing so anyway I just went ahead and bought them plus now I know every single kid will have one and um, I can pre label them with like colored duct tape because that's what I'm planning on doing I want to do a whole video on like like management systems in the classroom, like how I do like bathroom checkout, how I do like notebook storage, um, how I do like supplies and stuff like that, just for like, like class. It's, I mean, it's technically classroom setup, you know, but it's not like, I don't know, it's more like management systems. So, anyway, that's the plan. So, I'm drinking a spiced chai tea with some cream in it. It's very delicious. It's like on the verge of being cold now. So like I could probably get to school and put some ice in it. My teammate has an ice machine, which I told her I was like, yeah, that was a mistake. Cause I'm probably going to use that a lot. And she's like, that's fine. <laughs> so anyway, let's get to school and we'll get this vlog started. Okay, the three plants have found their home. This is Pink Princess. And then we have Charlie. And then I don't know what this one's name is over here. I don't know what we'd call it, but she is happy. This is all the plants I'm gonna bring for now. If um, they do well, then I'll bring some more. Like I really wanna bring a pothos or pothos to put either up here on this side or over there. Um. I think it would be cool to put it on that one because that one's kind of like, I think only two more bins go up there. Yeah, one and two go up there. So maybe another plant up there. Potentially one that hangs from the ceiling because um, I can hang things from the ceiling. In fact, that's part of what I'm gonna do today. I need to hang these palms from the ceiling. I think I'm gonna hang all of them. Um, depends. I might throw a couple more palms like up and around. Like I might do a couple more palms, like one there, maybe on the corners of the windows. I don't know yet. And I think what I am going to do is leave 
that blank up there and put my white clock right here in the center of this wall. And then everything else I'm gonna just put away for now um, because I'm not gonna use it. And then um, I'm gonna just start clearing tables today. Like that is my main goal is to clear the tables again. And then I should be done and all I'll have to do is like figure out what's gonna go on either of the two walls. Because like I said, I wanted to start the year more simple um, and not go to bulletin board crazy because realistically the kids don't use them. Um, so I just want to be as minimal as possible. Um, you know, that way uh, there's not too much going on. I really like the way that my room, like aside from all the junk that's out, like I really like how it's not overdone and cluttered. Like I'm leaving this whole back counter completely empty and I'm gonna use it for labs. Um, and I think for the first couple days of school, I'm gonna put all the student supplies on it so that I can sort that and then put it away. Like this is empty. Um, don't know what I'm gonna put in there. We'll see. That's probably not gonna stay there. I'll probably put my globe up. Maybe here. And then put it on north and south. Cause I have a like picture on this side so I could totally put the globe on that side. So yeah, uh, we're gonna get things done. But first of all, I have to take a picture for my ID badge. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I think I'm gonna set myself in front of this board cause it's like empty, either that one or this one. And I'm just gonna take a headshot and then I have to email that over to district so that they can make my ID badge. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then I'm just gonna start putting stuff away um, aside from like the little things I mentioned. I do need to finish hammering these and I forgot the hammer. So these are gonna have to wait, um, these two bins. I did get the nails in the right spot. I just can't get them all the way in the wall. So I have to hammer them, um, but yeah. And then I have all these notebooks that I'm going to sort out and label and then put them in notebook storage. Um, so yeah, I also have to store folders. So I might have to pull out more book bins, um, which is fine. Or I thought about this too. I could use one black and one colored for each class, put the folders in the colored bin and then all the notebooks should fit in the big black bin. So I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try a couple different things because I don't want to take up this whole counter with notebooks. Um, if it ends up looking that way, I could potentially move all of these back to that counter and store them back there so they're not completely taking up the whole counter space, but we'll see. I might even split it up by class. Like I could put one class here, one class there, one class there, and then it's more split up and it's really not taking up space. So anyway, I'm gonna do my picture and then I will decide what I'm gonna do next. All right, so I've cleared off this table. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I've done since I checked in with you guys. Um, I had this bin full of like other random decor stuff. So what I'm trying to do is like clear it and just put my little knickknacks places like this really cool fossil. Um, just like random stuff that goes around. <laughs> I need to find a place for all my little like trinkets if I'm even gonna put them out. Um, I did hide one up here. I thought it was really cute. I'll see if anybody notices it. It's just a little Grogu. You can barely see him. Oh, I also hung this plant greenery thing. Um, and then I also put my clock up there, which it doesn't look like it's working, does it? <laughs> um, that sucks. I'll have to fix that. Anyways, I like how this turned out. It looks really cute. Um, and then, yeah, you can barely see him just boop, right there. Uh, let's see, what else did I do? Um, yeah, just like little random things. I did do a bunch of like paperwork stuff for district. So I was working on that. Um, I hung this thing. So my plan for the whiteboard is I'm going to put, look at what we're learning up here. And then below it, I'm gonna have a space for a learning target and standard 
and then I might have a space for like their end goal or something like that like like with their end learning target like their overall learning target and then that way I can like they can always see like what their end goal is and then um, then this space will kind of be like just used for blank whatever and then this is like not coming off I don't know what I'm gonna do um, I really wanted to put my schedule over here so I had an idea but I wanted to like talk it out first I wonder if I could use some of this paper and like ticky tack it on border it and like make it like another bulletin board and it would be simply a bulletin board for like schedules um, I could use magnetic like I could put the supplies they need for the day there because I have all of that magnetized so it could be like a magnetic board what do you guys think about that instead of like power struggling to get that off I would just have to make it like cut off right here and then this little section of the board would be for like other stuff like concept models if I need to draw anything or write anything or whatever because this board is going to be the one I'm like referencing a lot so um yeah I was thinking about that like schedule stuff announcements they're also dry erase. The whiteboards or, or the bulletin board papers dry erase. So I could write on it. Um, and then that way, like the schedule or the date would be like hovering over the top of it. I don't know. I'm going to think about it. I might do it just because I don't want to hassle with this like stuff. Because I planned on making new schedule cards and magnetizing them. Um, so yeah, that is that. Um, I also put that rainbow up there, my neon rainbow. Uh, I was kind of struggling with where to put it. I don't know if it'll stay there. I might scooch it maybe over the top of here. I also need to make the, the word because, and I actually thought about putting it like right here in the center since there's nothing there. And then put like some kind of like bitmoji of myself like pointing to it then it would be, because I always like to have the word because. Um, and that's it, I think, that I've done so far. So I feel bad I haven't, like, filmed myself, but I've been, like, kind of bouncing back and forth from, like, my computer to, like, pussing around. But I'm going to put my music on, and I'm going to actually get to work. Um, so... So I'm going to sit down at this point and start fluffing all of these up because I'm getting down to the point where I don't have much left. Um, I did put this little wall together over here just for my stuff. Um, and then what else did I do? I don't think I did much else. Oh, I ended up doing the book bins with the notebooks. I put them all in there. So the big book bins fit 30, but they're really squish. And I just feel like once they're full of paper, they're not going to fit. So I ended up putting two book bins next to one big one. And that should be able to at least fit all the book or the notebooks. And then one of the little book bins will fit all of the folders. So all their folders and notebooks will be stored right there. And then I put two extra ones for my intervention block, which is called Win. 
and that is when they um, do like intervention. And then I also need a space to store their writing folders. So I don't know, this en might end up being like the entire counter, or like I said, I might just move it back here because this counter space is totally empty. And I feel like this counter could be used for so much more. So I might move it over there, we'll see. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna sit here, watch the office and floof all of these floofies. All right, so I did decide to go ahead and move the notebook storage off of this countertop because I just feel like it's too good of a space to take up all that stuff. And I ended up moving them over here. This is where they're gonna stay for now. <clears throat> Potentially what could end up happening is I shift them all down to one side and then that way I have a space left over for um, uh, stations, but yeah, this is what it's looking like. You guys should know by now that because I'm so OCD that this whole business is driving me crazy, but I'm just gonna leave it because I don't really have any other choices um, as far as like what to put on here. I'm just kind of trying to utilize the space as best I can. But as you can see, things are clearing up. I have one table left that has project stuff on it. And then I'm gonna start like loading up Cricut stuff and laminating in a little bit. Probably not today, um, but I'm going to use that table as a laminating Cricut space. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Uh, not really sure. I might just tuck it away until I need it. Like I like to use it for like curriculum night and like meet the teacher and stuff. So I'll probably just maybe tuck it over here up against the wall. here. Yeah. It's nice and out of the way. Yeah, that's perfect. Because I'll probably hardly ever use this paper, but it is nice to have it and then the vacuum will be good. I think I'm going to hang this mirror centered on this wall and put some words around it. Um, we'll see what words. <laughs> um, I still need to clear this off. This is all like the paint stuff. So I'll probably do that today. But right now I'm gonna put all the hardware back on the cabinets. So I'll do that. And then yeah, all the other tables are cleared off and ready to put supplies in them. Um, this one, I don't really know what's going to happen with it. I don't know if they're going to replace it or if they're going to fix it or what. I am meeting with my principal Friday, so I will ask him about it. And then, yeah, that's, it's pretty much done. I mean, aside from like the fine t tuning, like, you know, the words and the bulletin boards being done, it's pretty much done. Um, this turned out really good nice because it is a magnet so I can just put magnets up there which I really like I might even put these up there and then I just need to clean a couple things I'm gonna keep the ladder here and the dolly I could probably take home and then this cart is gonna be for lunches um, so it will be parked right here this backpack I'll probably just keep behind the door in the event of an emergency. And then my door can always just be open that far. So yeah, lunch cart here, trash cans. I have a lot of them, which is probably good, um, but I just don't know where to put them all. <laughs> so 
I'm just gonna put them there for now. So yeah, this is what it's looking like. I'm very excited. I love the ceiling bits. They're like part of my favorite. I actually really want to get like three of these and just use them for folders and notebooks, but for now it's fine. That will serve its purpose. And then this one is gonna be for my win group, which is my intervention class. They'll have, I'll probably have to get them, but they'll have file folders with stuff in them. So, and then I do need to put construction paper in here to make it look like it's <laughs> actually serving a purpose. And that's it. I mean, as far as like organization and putting everything where it goes, it's gonna look better when the ladder's not here. <laughs> I move it. Yeah. So it is pretty much as done as it possibly can be without all the fine touches. So I'm going to do a quick 360 so you guys can see everything. That table is the only one with stuff left on it, like I said. That map is probably not going to stay there in that spot, but that's okay. It is 1.52. I'm gonna stay until three, so I've got another hour. So I'm just gonna take the trash out and then I'm gonna sit down at my computer and start working on some planning stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Stay tuned for the last classroom setup video, which will be the next one. Don't forget to follow me on all my socials, Instagram, TikTok, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.